Hello everybody, what is up? EDI Reflex or I'm Beast here and I'm here and I'm actually doing a uh, another tutorial on how you basically make oh my goodness, this thing is lagging. Oh well. This is a Nexus uh dock and I might do a review on it later. I don't know why it's being really laggy. Last time I was recording it didn't do much, but oh well. I did a test recording earlier. Um but uh yeah, so this is basically a um, guide on how you make this type of background how there's like paint paint splatter everywhere and uh, so yeah let's get started now I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna make this as a thumbnail for the video so it's gonna go 1280 by 720 that looks that, that seems good oh good I actually set my background to uh, black that's good so while I don't know why it's being gay. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna make a new layer on top of it. Um and we're gonna name it paint. So once you name I'm actually kinda sick right now, so if that's that's why I kinda sound messed up. I actually just woke up, it's like ten o'clock, so I just woke up. And uh, so yeah, let's, let's let's make the text, and I'm actually gonna use the Zerod, I believe it's called. It's kind of like the Optic Gaming text font thing. So I'm just gonna go E D I Reflex, and I know that did not. Okay, there we go. So you don't actually need to worry about what your font is or your text color is, um, because you can just change, or you don't, you actually don't even need it, because you're gonna have to change it in a second, anyways. So, um, yeah, let's go and hit the layer style, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna actually sign out of Skype because I don't really need Skype. Um, so after that, you just need to uh, you're gonna turn on stroke. And now I can see why my computer's lagging. Oh no, I don't want you to see all my contacts. Alright. So, there we go. Um. Alright, there we go. Okay. So you're gonna turn on stroke, and uh, once you turn on stroke, it's gonna be about. Uh, you wanna turn this to two pixels, because you want kind of this look you can see right here. Um, I'm actually going to turn it, crank it up a little bit. Quit Skype, actually. Completely. Alright, so. Yeah, and there we go. Quit Skype. Um, you want it to be about three. It depends on what your preferences are. You can have it being whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to put it at three right now. You're going to go to Gradient Overlay, and you can see it's going to look cool, kind of. You can keep it like that if you want to, but I'm actually going to change it to, you want this side to be a light gray. So like halfway, I'd say like two thirds of the way up. Um, so you can see it's not drastically affecting it, but it still looks really good. So you're going to reverse it and you're going to go to reflected. And so you can see it goes on the top and on the bottom. Um, you're going to go to drop shadow. You're going to want to go to normal, crank up the opacity to 100%, um, you don't have to, but uh, that's what I'm doing, so, yeah. The distance to zero, the size, um, depending on your, what your text is, um, I'm just going to do 20, you can always change it, so, you'll see later. If I don't like it, I'll just change it, so, actually this layer is not going to be paint, this layer is going to be text and we're going to have another layer that's going to be between the two going and this is going to be the paint layer so um the paint like brush you can actually uh go to and you can get from my uh i'm going to have a link where you can get it and um yeah so you just go once you oh like you have nothing right i mean i have the brushes open right now but you can just go to uh tech or whatever so like these are all your brushes right so you just go to the cog basically like the settings you go to load brushes and then there's going to be a window that pops up and 
given you you have to know where they are. So like if they were in your um let's just say they're in my downloads, so I'll just go to uh computer Acer Well wherever where is it? I don't know where where my downloads thing is. I don't know. What in the world? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um so you just go to advanced brushes and you open ink spy, you just double tap it and I already have it open so I don't really need to do that but you end up getting a bunch of these like you get a bunch of brushes that you can use like what in the world no get that out of here whatever I don't know if that is what in the world what is that thing oh okay what? Whatever, I don't know what that is. But anyways, so you just want to start out with making, um, I end up starting out, I'm going to start out with this big one. And so you can see that already has like a pretty big effect on the uh, text. And um, you can actually just go ahead and uh, start out with a kind of big brush, just erasing this kind of stuff. So you can see it's just going, you can, if you look closely probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but, um, they have little, they, some, like, brushes leave marks, and so I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, now you're going to want to go down, all the way down, again. I mean, this is, this part's all up to you, I'm just showing you what I would want to do. So, go to brush, make sure you're on brush, because I keep, I always do that. So, you're just going to go to this, go ahead and put this down. I mean, this part's just where you, like, mess around and see what you want. I mean, if you don't, it, like, all this part's just where you get creative. Let's just say that. So, um, I'll just put it on the 950 one, and you can just pretty much put this wherever you want it, um, uh, you can, I'll scale it down a little bit, put it on the sides, and, uh, you can see you get, like, a little paint splatter effect, and, um, I mean, that's what you want, obviously, if you're wanting the paint splatter, so I just put this, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all. If you want to continue making more paint splatter, go ahead. I mean, this is all I really need to do. So, I mean, that's what... I'll just leave it like this. Actually, I'm going to scale this. Uh, there we go. So, once you're done with editing this, you want to go to your text layer and make sure you're on the eraser. Make sure you're on the eraser. I'll say it again. Make sure you're on the eraser. And you can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can make it like kind of like this so it kind of gives it a nice little look um, or you can make it so it's uh, you can go to the 948 actually you can just go to like this so it's like little paint is all over the uh, So you just see there's little paint splatters, and I'm actually going to make this, so it's 9, now I'm going to do the 951, and you can just pretty much make it look uh, better, but this is all pretty much up to you, you're deciding all this, so you can see, I mean, as long as you can read the text, it it's fine probably, so you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Save As, um, this is if you don't really know anything about Photoshop, but, uh, but I think this actually looks pretty cool. Um, it's a nice little effect that you can do with just the paint splatter. Um, paint splatter EDI. Okay, so you're just going to save. And I just put it at maximum because it's going to be on your desktop. It's not like it's going to be, you're sharing it anywhere, so... 
as soon as that's done saving, you pretty much can see it's going to look pretty cool, actually. Um, I had a different one that looked like 10 times better than this, but, um, I mean, this isn't meant for your YouTube. This isn't meant for, like, supposed to be a desktop background, so there's, like, it's going to be cut off at the top. But, um, yeah, so you just right-click it and set it as your background, and uh, you're done, basically. So, if you want to make it as your desktop background, you're going to go to... I'll just create a new one. You have to follow these. So you're just going to go 1366. Six. Oh, I was going to sneeze, I thought. Um, 768. So that's you're going to be your, your like resolution. So once you want to if you want to make a desktop background, those are going to be have to be your um like settings pretty much. But um like this one is going to be the thumbnail. So yeah, um, I'm just putting it as 1280 by 720. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you made a cool one, make sure to, like, I don't know how you would send it to me. Make a video and post it as a video response if it's... I mean, I'll always accept video responses to pretty much all my videos. Um, but if you made something like this, uh, make sure you leave a comment saying... Uh, you made one, and then make a video response. If I don't know, that's up to you. But um, yeah, I don't know why it's saying it's nighttime, but oh well. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace.